Hello children and welcome back. In our last lesson, we learned about the animals around us, how they live and we learned about the domestic and wild animals. Now in today's lesson, we are going to learn about the uses of animals, how animals help us. Can you tell how animals are useful to us? Yes, they are useful to us in many ways. Let us understand them one by one. All children should drink milk to become strong and healthy. But where do you get this milk from? Yes, we get them from animals like cows, goats and buffaloes. I know some of you children don't like to drink milk, correct? How about cheese, curd, butter, cream? Yes, all children like to eat these. How about your favorite ice creams? Yes, ice cream, ghee, koya, paneer and many sweets are made from milk. These are called milk products. Many of us eat omelette. How about the yummy Spanish omelette or spicy egg masala curry with rice? We get eggs from birds like hen, duck and goose. Eggs are also used to make pastries and cakes. Many people eat meat of animals like goat, chicken. They also eat sea animals like fish, crab and prawn as seafood. Honeybee is a useful insect. We get honey and wax from the home of the bee which is called the beehive. The bee's wax is used to make candles. Animals give us clothes. In winter, everyone likes to be warm and cozy, wearing sweater, muffler or socks. What are these made of? Yes. They are made of wool, which we get from the fur or hair that grows on the body of animals like goat, yak, sheep or rabbit. Woolen clothes are made using this wool from these animals. How about the beautiful silk sarees, dresses, scarves which you have worn by people for special occasion? What are they made of? Yes. yes, we get silk thread from the cocoon of silkworms. It is a fine soft thread and is used to make silk cloth. Now let's learn about how animals help us to travel. That is called animals as means of transport. Some animals help us to move from one place to another. Some animals also help us to carry heavy loads like horses, camels, donkeys, mules and elephants. These animals are called beasts of burden. Some animals like dog, cats, fish and parrots are kept at home as pets. They are also called pet animals. How do pet animals help us? They give us company and make us happy. The dog guards our house. We make leather from the skin of dead animals like crocodile and snake. Leather is used to make things such as shoes, bags, belts and jackets. Feathers, horns and hooves 
of some animals are used to make many things. Feathers are used to make pillow. Horns and hooves are used to make comb, bangles, cheese. Animals give us manure and fuel. The dung of animals like cows, buffaloes, horses, camels and goats are used as manure. In villages, dung cakes are dried and used as fuel. Animals like oxen help to draw water from wells, plough fields and thresh grains. Children, we have learnt about our body parts. So today, let's learn the body parts of some pet animals. Can you see this picture of a dog? Let's see the different parts of its body. The dog has eye, nose, tongue, stomach, paws, ear, mouth, neck, back, tail and legs. Which bird is this? Yes, it's a parrot. Children, have all of you seen a parrot? Yes, let's learn the parts of a parrot. Eye, beak, body, claws, face, wings, and tail. Having a pet at home is not enough. Once we bring in an animal at home, we should take good care of them. We must be kind to our pets and spend time with them. Feed them on time with good and healthy food. We should give them bath regularly and clean their shelter. When our pet is sick, we must take them to a veterinary doctor for checkup. Children, we learn that animals are very useful to us. So we should not harm them, but take proper care of them. Thank you. Children, I'm sure you all understood about the uses of animals what we get from animals, how they help us and how to take care of our animals. With this, I end my lesson. Stay safe. Keep learning.